Yeah. Okay, I wasn't going to film today, but we'll make a little short video, a video clip, um, just to uh, appease the, uh, the followers who had this recommendation. Grocery bags. So let's do one, uh, let's go 100 feet down. And because it's shotcrete, I don't even think that we need to do this today, but we're going to, and then it's going to work, and then everybody's going to say, see, I told you so, you should have used the plastic bag. But yeah. the last pour when we had the plug, remember we had regular concrete, and a plugged work tapered down to two and a half inch. So we don't have either of those elements to deal with here today. So let's go. You want to go here or you want to go on the next one? The next one. Next one? Okay. Put it on the next one. Okay. So we'll buck this off. Pull that clamp off. Oh, so you want to put that plastic so that Danny doesn't run down. <laughs> That's the idea. So. Yeah, that way, that way you have to put it there. Yeah. yeah. You want to do it there? There. Because that, that's where it's like this and it's steep from here. You think so? I think we should just do it here. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's just easier here. We don't have the strap in the way. Plus, I think we get, uh, we're a little bit more in the vertical here. It might be more beneficial here. Okay, so what you're going to do is put your bag over the end of the hose. Like that? Or single? Uh, I think I think double is probably better. Single, it might pop too quickly. Now put the rubber over it. We'll hold it in place with the rubber. Now what the guys are saying, because if you don't put a hole in it, the air pressure as it primes will burst the bag before the slurry ever gets to it. So what I've been told, what makes sense, we'll put a couple little slashes in it, just so that it can uh, it can breathe per se. So kind of like this. There we go. Two little eyes. Excellent. And we'll toss our clamp on. Kind of a crappy rubber, but what are you going to do? And what I want to do just for uh, the purpose of science, let's put one right on the end of the hose so I can I can film the slurry coming out and we'll see the, uh, the plastic bag in action as the stuff comes out and goes in the hopper. It's going to work, and all this is going to do is feed into a bunch of I told you so. But uh, no, not on that one. Nope. Even though it would be more helpful. The second one is just for uh, display purposes. Oh, he's got a single-ended hose on the end. Bugger. And we, do we have another double-ended hose or no? If we got time, we got no concrete. Let's do a double. Yeah. Just so we can, uh, well, we can dig it out from yeah, we'll just get some good scientific data. Yeah, we'll grab one. Okay, here we go. Straighten this setup out a little bit. There was no need for that uh, apparatus. A little bit elaborate, possibly counterproductive, debatable. A little. And two little, two little eyes. Two little sad eyes, and we'll uh, we'll videotape when we prime through here exactly the effectiveness or lack thereof of the plastic bag. I have a feeling with the two eyes there, the breather ports. I think this is going to work pretty good. Like I said, it's shock crate. I'm 100% confident we could have primed this through without the bags. Regular mix might have been a different story, but anyhow, we'll uh, we'll get the action shots here. It'll be a good. Uh, discussion point shall we say think it's gonna work I don't know what you're doing you don't know why wouldn't it work look at that a couple little vent holes oh we didn't oh we did double up this bag too okay yeah we double yeah, layered them so okay we just need concrete now yeah the, the concept is the bag like we put one halfway there the slurry hits the bag the bag holds it up so the slurry doesn't run away that from the concrete but if you don't put holes in the bag, the air pressure from priming through will pop the bag before the slurry and concrete ever gets to it. You know what I'm saying? Like like a diaphragm almost. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you get it. Oh. <laughs> well, it's exactly why we're filming what's gonna happen here so I can show you the video. And yourself and people like yourself will get it. Okay. And then everybody's gonna tell us that they told us yeah. so, so. Yeah. Right, I'll be the hose holder, here we go. Bentonite bucket number one. You want to use the cone? No. 
that's why I'm making like. Right, just give us one sec. We'll just get the Bentley in first. Oh, my poor gloves. Bucket number two. The money shot. Beauty. Hook her up, rock and roll. Hey Clamper. pumps here is we have very limited time to get this port off this is a late start we need it to be quick we've done this pour with one pump um, but we're you know 45 minutes per load an hour per load with this setup will be half an hour per load and uh, you guys just want to get in here and get out so let's see how this goes are you ready yep. rock and roll Okay, hold up. I'm going to go down to Ian's pump. I got air. What do you got? I feel it. Oh, yeah. You feel the air. Trade your spots? Sure. Yeah. Trade your spots. concrete it should pop that bag no problem we're just take that off now. yeah once your office pull we'll take it off hey there we go like a virgin is there a song about that yeah, <laughs> okay buddy now you just got to get it all the way through your pump Not quite to me yet. Oh, there we go. It just, I think it just went through. Think so? I don't know that you do. For a little push. You sure? Yeah, 
You did plug it right there. Bugger, right? Eh? Oh, my God. Spot, too. Okay, well, we'll break it apart and get it through. You know why? Because we didn't use plastic bags here. <laughs> That's what they're going to say. I can't believe that actually plugged. Where is it? Oh, yeah, you're up. Oh, and of course, it's in the 50-foot hose. Yeah, it's it's right here. Uh, back it off. We'll break it off. Bang it out. No big whoop. No BS. It actually did segregate. We should have used another plastic bag, like right there, or even right up there. Anyhow, we should have break it off, dribble a bit through. A little more bit night. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. And there she is. Success-ish, kind of. All right, well, I filmed at this site a bunch of times, so I actually wasn't going to film anything more here, but uh, why the heck not? So what we're doing here today is got this uh, TK or VS70, I should say, feeding into our TK60 high-pressure pump. Reason for this, so nice and dry this stuff is. So we couldn't get concrete supply until midday. So they want to pour this fast, but they also want to pour it dry so they can heave it on there and it'll stick. And we can try and get out of here before dark, which is about 5 p.m. this time of year. So we got the uh, VS70, a bunch of three inch line, feeding into the little TK60. This allows us to keep it drier and pump it faster. We have pumped with the same setup with the TK60 from up top, but we were limited to, geez, about a load every hour, and we had to keep it a little bit wet or we were bouncing off the relief valve. So you're gonna see here, even with the 60 down here and the amount of line cut in half, he's got about 200 feet of two inch line. He's gonna be damn near pegged on the pressure gauge. 4,000 is, is pegged on this thing. See how dry that is though? She is just about at the relief valve. Yeah, we're gonna have fun getting out of here. That's a whole nother story. The line goes all the way down into the hole like usual, and they're just heaving it on the bottom there really, really thick. So they want this stuff as dry as we can possibly pump it. So that is why we are doing the two pump setup. And I'm sure we'll get a lot of feedback as to why didn't you run hard line the whole way, this, that, and the other thing. I think I've been over that in previous videos before, so this is uh, this works well for us. So, anyhow, we'll uh, check back in on the way out here. We'll gather the boys around and we'll uh, share our thoughts on what we think about the uh, plastic bag trick for priming out. Stay tuned. Well, as you can see, we're running short on daylight here. So uh, 
we'll have to cut to the chase here get a common uh, common consensus what do you think about the plastic bag for priming out oh, that worked really good it was I'm good impressed. yeah i think it was a win smart trick. extra good. smart yeah yeah no i think it actually worked really well i think we're going to use that one in the future I still have my reservations about the sponge ball ahead of the primer. I oh. think the bag worked so well, we don't need to mess around with those sponge balls. I tried that sponge ball before. Yeah, two hoses, three hoses. Plugged. Yeah, yeah. And then, then you use, use hammer on those hoses. Yeah, you got to beat it out. And then, yeah. yeah, I've never had luck with that either. So, so so far we've got two of three thumbs up for the plastic bag. I would I would rather use three plastic bags instead of two just to be secure yeah. but today life it's short creep so next time if it's a regular mix because regular mix there are high chances of segregation yeah so i would i would use three plastic bags no i i think if it were even without the bags we still would have primed it through no problem because it's shot crate yeah. and it's so sticky it doesn't run ahead and, and uh, segregate with the concrete quite like regular mud does but uh, i completely agree we will be back here for some regular pours one of which being 150 yards so We'll try it out then. We'll put it to the test then. Let's see what Ian has to say. I think he's going to be in agreement with Jag and I. But yeah, no, I think that actually worked really, really well. And it didn't work for me years and years and years ago because I wasn't cutting holes in the bag. And the air would rupture the bag before the primer ever got to it. So that seems to be the trick. Double the bag over, double layer it, and cut a couple holes. Shackle. You're gonna rip the little Isuzu in two. This is, the, this is the stuff that sells, buddy. <laughs> this is stuff that sells. If it goes well, it gets used. If it doesn't, it gets tossed in the trash. And you think you need to be pulled all the way up? Oh, yeah. Yeah? You don't think you're okay once you get onto that stuff? She's just gonna put it in reverse and just nurse it then. Yep. Yeah, I'll let the one ton do all the work. It's a lot of work. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna press on the reverse while he goes up. Yeah, he's kinda all the best to go. And it's going to be. Radio? Uh, I'm having it. Very nice 
It'll be all right. We're going nowhere but back <laughs> or into the air compressor or that. Only if he falls forward, he's filling the dip that he's in. When we were rolling forward before, it was just making, uh, it, the divot was just uh, carrying on. It's way softer than it looks. It's really weird. <laughs> is that the beauty of chains when they break they don't whip or is that cables? No, they both whip. Oh, they both whip. Too, yeah. they will. Cables are way worse, but chains are whip too. We need some of them Yankum ropes. You ever watch Matt's off road recovery? No, I haven't. Oh my Wait. god, it's the best channel on YouTube, man. He's marketing his own tow ropes. Yeah, they just stretch. Okay, you gotta give it more throttle. He's spinning. He's spinning? Yeah, he's spinning, not you. You're not spinning. Yep. Yeah, you just gotta get on. There you go. Yep. Just give her in, yeah. Yep. Amazing. Wonderful. <laughs> 50,000 views right there, man. <laughs> okay, we're done, but you got to stand over here. I got to ask you one thing. Uh, your opinion on the uh, plastic bag for priming. Thumbs up, thumbs down. What's it going to yeah, be? Yeah, that worked. It that did worked. work, right? We, we would do it again. I, think so. I would 100% do it again. Just make sure to double up the bag, cut a couple vent holes in, and we're all good. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know what you were doing at first. See, sometimes we, we listen to the viewers and we learn and we become better pumpers because of it. Oh, you, you learned it from a viewer? I tried it before, but I wasn't doing it the right way. But yeah, a couple of viewers mentioned it. So look at that. That's a good idea, guys. So it's all about learning every day. Anyhow. Well, yeah, you, you want to say the stupid thing? Just say it. I'm like, too tired. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Over and out. <laughs>